All right, welcome. I'm Eric Myers with Myers Mushrooms. These are the new fan filter units that I'm selling. These are HEPA filters. They are basically plug and play flow hoods. Uh, they flow around 100 feet per minute. The filtration is 99.99% at 0.2 microns. So that is HEPA rated. Um, these have pre-filters, a three-speed motor, and then they have the primary filter, which is easily changed out. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to change that out. And the primary filter is changeable too, which is not always the case. Some, some uh, fan filter units are molded in place, the, the main filter. This one you can easily unscrew and change out the filter. Here's the back side. You have the filter, the motor, and the filter holder. The motor, the blades are metal. They're not plastic. Some of the cheaper fan filter units have plastic fan blades. Um, you could also see that it has handles and there's a three speed controller on the back side. Easy to change. Um, so they flow about 100 feet per minute with the filter, with the pre filter. Without the pre filter, they flow about 150 feet per minute. Um, so it gives you a little bit more flow without the pre-filter. The downside of that is the primary filter is going to clog up quicker if you don't run a pre-filter. Depending on your environment, if you're in a small lab that's clean, that's sealed, um, no carpets, kind of stuff like that where it's, it's not very dusty, the filter will last a long time even without the pre-filter and you'll get a little bit more flow so it'll scrub the air a little bit quicker and rotate the air around. Now, if you're in a basement or a garage or some kind of dirty environment where it's not a sealed, clean environment, then you're going to want to run your pre-filter and you're going to want to change it often to help keep your flow rate up and to help save your, your primary filter from, from clogging up over time. A, a HEPA filter should last five to 10 years, well taken care of. Um, usually, in my experience, I'll end up getting junk in the front of it before the, the back gets clogged up as in like spawn will fly into it or substrate will fly into it or a tool will fall into it and, and puncture it. Um, now if that does happen, if a tool does break it, typically you just lay it on its back and hot glue it or even some Elmer's glue. These are not getting wet, so Elmer's glue is fine. Um, pretty, pretty standard. I've seen it multiple times repaired, uh, repaired HEPA filters like that. Um, so I'm selling the two by four. I'm also selling this three by four. The three by four makes it to where your, your XLS bags are right around here. So it gives you all this space up here to work in. I'm sure that those of you that have a two foot flow hood, you're familiar with XLS bags that when you open them up, they're right at the top of the flow hood. So when you come in with your Petri dish, you're in that danger zone of where it's not clean airflow. Um, so these uh, three by fours really give you that extra freedom of, of movement where you can lift things up higher and look at them. Um, I'll be running two of these in my spawn lab. I'll probably stick with the two by fours in here in, in my, uh, this is the, the sawdust lab. So yeah, these are the, the HEPA filters. One thing that people say as well is, is a three foot filter or a three inch filter, is that thick enough for laminar flow? Well, these are what they use in labs. That's what these are designed for. These are for things like flow hood cab or the, the flow hood cabinets, the enclosures. These are for things like where you have the whole room filtered and the whole room has a down flow or a cross flow. So hundred feet per minute is all you need. You don't need any more than three inch thickness. Um, and like I said before, they flow about 150 feet per minute with no pre-filter and that's new. So you're going to see a little bit declining, you know, like 10, 20% over the years as the filter gets clogged up with the flow. Um, so besides the, the filter, fan filter units, complete assemblies that I'm selling, I'm also selling just the pre-filters or just the primary filters and the pre-filters as well. But I'm selling just the primary filters. I also have some 10 by 10 primary filters that I'm ordering for the positive pressure units. If you wanna make one or if you have the lab products, rodent cage blowers like I have, I have like four of them. Um, so I ordered a bunch of those 10 by 10s, which are nice for just about 100 CFMs um, to, to filter small amounts of air for keeping positive pressure and scrubbing. So the, the two by fours are gonna be shipping by FedEx. The three by fours have to ship freight due to size. So if you're looking at getting a three by four, I'd highly recommend either buying multiple or doing a group buy, finding other people in the area that are looking to buy one. And, uh, and, and group buy that way, you're not 
paying as much for freight. It's gonna be as much to send three or four of these as to send one because they're so big, but they're light. So it's just gonna be, uh, you know, two or $300 a pallet pretty much is gonna be the price. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the, the, the skinny on these flow hoods. Other than that, things are doing good over here. We're making good progress on the grow. Should be um, firing it up real soon. Uh, I'll be putting this one will actually be going in the spawn lab along with another one. So I'll have eight feet by three feet of nice big, big flow area. Um, if you want to support my channel, check out MyersMushrooms.com. Shop for grow bags, shop for equipment. If you want to also support my channel, you can pledge on Patreon.com slash MyersMushrooms. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And you can also check out Kit.co dot co slash Myers Mushrooms. That's all my different items that I've put together, all the different kits and the different parts that I've made for all my different inventions and projects. So yeah, hopefully you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Keep on mushrooming.